Hello and welcome to the Disney News Show. Here's your host, Corella's Fur Coat. Yes, this is the Disney News Show. I am Corella's Fur Coat and this is episode 15 on Sunday the 8th of January 2012. So uh, this week we've got a bit of news to get through. Um, not that much, but um, quite a few important things about Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disney movies as well. A um, couple of things at the end. And so yeah, um, we're going to be doing all that. And some of you may have noticed that I didn't include the whole intro this week just because I think that intro is just long and it's a bit boring really and I think it's kind of putting people off watching the rest of the video. So I'm going to, I'm designing a new intro to kind of like, uh, well, to replace that one. Um, so we're just going to be stuck with the Peter Pan at the moment. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is, that is it. Um, I'm going to be getting that, hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll be doing that. So yeah, but before we get to the news this week, there's something I'm going to talk about, and that is about the Save the Va uh, UK Vinylmation, that Disney Brit are kind of, a, it's a campaign that we're doing, well not me, um, Disney Brit are doing on kind of Twitter and through DisneyBrit.com, so uh, yeah, that is something that is going on at the moment, and it's because there's kind of been a decline in the number of vinylmations in stores and available here in the UK. Um, I know this isn't a problem in the US, but here in the UK, we are kind of there's not many vinylmations available for us to get. Uh, very expensive to get them from the U US, obviously, to get them shipped in and stuff. So we're kind of we're campaigning against, well, not against, for the the continuation of the vinylmation. Um, uh, yeah, that's um, that is it. Um, I went yesterday to my local Manchester store. Um, there wasn't many. Uh, there's going to be some new vinylmations coming out on Monday. Most places I know London had them uh, this weekend um, as well. And so yeah, there's the Fairy Friends. They're coming out from Monday from tomorrow, and so everything like that. Is going to be going well. I hopefully, um, I got this one here, which is my first one, um, the Gardener Mickey one on Mickey's Garden, something like that. Um, so yeah, that is the first thing that I got the other day. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to be mad on vinylmation, just kind of the odd one here and there. So that is just kind of a bit of a starter for today. Um, go and check out the. Disney Brit website if you've not seen it before it's fantastic, they do their podcast every two weeks or so and so that is really really great, they've got at the moment they're running the Disney Brit Idol to search for a new kind of co-host of the podcast which unfortunately I'm not in because it was a mix up, well not a mix up my email didn't get to them so I'm not in it <laughs> it doesn't matter though, I'm not that bothered um, I'm going to be doing this still um, I would have done it anyway but it um, means I can spend more time on obviously the Disney News show so yeah, that is it. Let's get straight to the Walt Disney World news and announced the other day that beginning this fall, Epcot guests will be able to enjoy a reimagined ver version of the popular Future World attraction test track. Um, it's going to be presented by Chevrolet. This new version of the attraction will transform the, uh, the current testing workshop into the sleek Chevrolet Design Center at Epcot, where guests can become um, immersed in the fun um, and fast world of automotive design. Um, here guests will be become automotive designers and create their own um, custom vehicles. Next they'll be uh, they'll buckle into a six person slim, uh, sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to read off, read off the thing, um, sim car ride vehicle um, and test out their design on the challenging track of the test track course. So <laughs> that was, uh, there was a load of stuff that I wanted to get in so I just kind of wrote it out. I was just going to read it. But there we go. So the, the test track is going to be redesigned. Um, test track, a fantastic Epcot attraction. One of my favourites at Epcot. Obviously it's always got such a long queue. Um, if you've not got fast passes you can wait for over an hour and a half kind of for this ride. Um, I've been lucky. I think both the times have been about 45 minute waits for me because we've had fast passes so that's been good. Um, and I, yeah, the, I, I just love it. I think it's great. Um, this is kind of a renewal of the, well, it's a multi-year deal um, between Disney and General Motors, um, which kind of sponsor, I guess you call it, um, sponsor the ride. Um, it's a great ride. I'm, gl I'm glad they're not kind of changing the ride because the ride is incredible. 
Um, I love it. You cannot get better than uh, a car, get a better car ride than Test Track. Um, I'm glad they're just kind of rebranding it. I guess it's being rebranded. Um, maybe we'll get some new new videos um, of kind of footage on the screen because they are old. Them <laughs> videos that you see. Although I do like it. Uh, I like them videos. Um, or, uh, but yeah, there's gonna it's gonna be kind of close for refurbishment. I guess it's gonna be about six months from the spring to the fall. Um, so yeah, so Disney can redo that attraction. Really great, great stuff there. So uh, next um, at the Magic Kingdom, the original Dumbo will close tomorrow um, to move into the Storybook Circus. So um, the original Dumbo, which of course is in Fantasyland, will be moving over to New Fantasyland, the Storybook Circus area, from tomorrow. Um, you'll be no longer be able to ride it in its original place, but it's it's not it's not completely going. As you'll all know, um, there's going to be two Dumbos over at the Storybook Circus um, in New Fantasyland, and so this is the old one's going to be still be there. The new one's been there for about two weeks or so, kind of testing out and stuff. Um, and this, it's just going to be moved into the into the new area. Uh, looks really great, of course. And D Dumbo, one of the mo one of the favourite um, attraction of most young children at Magic Kingdom. Um, and there's going to be two of them, which is going to be fantastic. Um, so yeah, that's great. Um, Dumbo moving from tomorrow. Well, I don't think it's going to be moving tomorrow, but it's definitely closing tomorrow. Also, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad will be closing for a four and a half month refurbishment um, from tomorrow. Um, Rumours are that an interactive queue, some new show elements and a general fix-up will happen over this period. So obviously I want to headline attractions at Magic Kingdom while well, uh, the Big Thunder Mountain um, is going to be closing down, not well, a refurbishment from tomorrow. Um, so that is that's just something to bear in mind. If you're going down over the next uh, next few months, um, there's going to be no Big Thunder Mountain. I think it is in need of a refurbishment, in my opinion. Um, when I went in October, it it's not you can't really tell unless you look closely. But there's lots of the elements kind of in the ride which don't don't work as well as they could do, as well as they should do um, for a Disney. Um, <laughs> roller coaster, I guess you. Is it a roller coaster? Is it a train? Is it? It's a roller coaster. Yeah, it is. Um, it's it's just great. Um, so that is it. Um, for the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad as we know it. Hopefully, there might be something brand new um coming to it um in the future. So that's all the Walt Disney World news for this week. Um, moving over to Disneyland, and for the first time since 1992, there is to be new music um, played down Main Street USA at Disneyland Park, and the new pieces, um, which will accompany the classic pieces, um, will include a turn-of-the-century arrangement of Married Life from Disney Pixar's Up, um, as well as others. So we're not completely getting rid of the, um, the original Disneyland soundtrack, um, there's now going to be uh, just new new music in there. Um, so I don't know if this is going to be happening at any other main streets. Possibly at Magic Kingdom, possibly at Disneyland Paris, you never know. So I, I guess they play the same music. I'm not sure about that, actually. <laughs> just don't hold me to that. Um, but, yeah, um, I, I, I don't really... I've not got much to say about this. I've never been to this land, so I can't really comment on the atmosphere of the main street. But I'm sure it's just the same as Magic Kingdom, and so I don't. I think new music will enhance Main Street. Also, um, on Main Street yesterday, so the opening of a new um, cafe, the Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe, and this is part of a series of changes for the uh, for the entrance of the park for Main Street, and um, that are going to be taking place over the next few months. You've got. Um, Obviously, this is the first thing, the Jolly Holly Holiday Bakery Cafe. It's quite, quite a mouthful, I guess. Um, you, yeah, that's good. it's it's good. Um, I love the Main Street Bakery at Magic Kingdom. One of my play, favorite places to have breakfast. I really do. Um, and if the, this is anything like that, it's great. Um, I hope they have the cinnamon rolls. I hope they do, <laughs> because you just have to have the cinnamon roll. Um, so yeah, that is it for Disneyland news for this week, um, a couple of things about Main Street there. And moving over to the movie news, um, with Beauty and the Beast um, 3D being released in US theatres on Friday, Disney have released the opening segment of the Tangled Ever After, 
the the short which will feature before the, the film so um, it looks really really great um, I'm really excited for this I love Tangled um, the Tangled Everlast after kind of short um, what I really can't get my head around is how that is Rapunzel with the short brown hair I really I, oh, I know it is Rapunzel I think, from the end of the movie but I just Rapunzel has long blonde hair Oh. <laughs> I wish they didn't have to do that at the end of the movie, cut off her hair and everything. But still. Um, yeah. Um, I, I don't know when we're getting it here in the U UK. Um, US get it on Friday. I don't know. We got The Lion King about a month or so after the US got that um, in 3D. So I'm guessing that's going to be pretty much then. Um, this time in a month. That we'll get, that we'll get, um, Beach and the Beast. Don't hold me to that though. <laughs> Couldn't find out on any websites, so yeah. Um, and just a bit more about um, UK cinema. The Muppets will be released on 10th February, as some of you may know. Um, some of you may know that is actually an advanced screening for some people um, who have won stuff on Disney Movie Awards um, next Sunday, Sunday the 15th, um, which fingers crossed I, I'll get picked for and um, we'll get we'll find out on the 12th so um, yeah yep that's pretty much it um, for that um, and there's also been a rumour that a sequel to Disney's 2010 game Epic Mickey um, is being developed and is to be released later this year um, so this is a game I've never played it but I know it was only released on Wii and apparently this one's going to be multi-platform so you've got Xbox 360 you've got PS3 and everything um, which is really interesting. Um, I've seen lots of kind of footage for the game. Uh, looks looks nice. Um, I'm not a big gamer, so I'm not uh, that. It's not something I'm really that interested in. But I know some people will be. Um, it didn't have the best reviews ever of a game, <laughs> uh, not at all. But um, I know lots of people liked it, um, and they liked kind of the new new take on Mickey Mouse as a character and. The, kind of the incorporation of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit and everything like that. So keep your eyes peeled for that if you are interested in video games. So um, Epic Mickey may be released later this year. So that is all the news for this week. If you've got anything you want to ask me about Disney, um, if you're heading to Disney soon, you want any advice, any um, anything really, you've got anything you want to be included in the show, I'm still looking for a new feature kind of thing to put at the end, kind of a weekly kind of thing. I am um, I might start doing some top tens as Dan Nine Twenty did last year. He's done quite a lot of top tens. Um also as always go and check out Fan Anthony's Disney News and Reviews. I know he put it up on Wednesday, I think again this year. Um go and check it out. It's it's fantastic as always. Um yeah, so that is it. Um I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Disney News Show and that um you're gonna tune in next week for more Disney News and also check out my channel for Disney um, updates all the time of DVDs, Blu-rays and just general merchandise and stuff. So yeah, that is, um, that's it. I'm going to stop, stop waffling on now and leave you to your Sunday and I hope you have a good week and go and check out Disney Brits, go and check out Fun Anthony and have a great week. Okay, thanks for watching. See you guys. Goodbye.